does look beautiful in Waterbury tonight. This is a night shot, a nice shot there. And of course, this is our night three of Italian in Connecticut week. And the Brass City is just full of fascinating history and truly incredible people. We're going to head out live tonight to Darren Kramer, who has a choice assignment, just eating his way through this whole week. And Darren, I wish we would have put you on the scale at the beginning of the week so we could compare it by the time <laughs> we're at the end of the week. I'll make you a deal. I'll get on the scale if you get on the scale. How about that? <laughs> no. That's the end way. of that discussion right there. <laughs> Never say that to a pregnant lady. We love you, Ann Craig. Listen, what, the Italian gods are smiling on us. Hey, Keith, show them around here a little bit. We're on the green down here in Waterbury. The trees are in blossom. The basilica here is beautiful. Uh, folks are out enjoying this beautiful sunny day. We're going to talk about the people, the men and women who built this city, largely Italian Americans, and who continue to do so coming up in a little bit. But first, a man who's not a household name, but he probably should be. You may or may not have heard of Dr. Robert Gallo. If you haven't heard of him, you really should. Uh, his groundbreaking work has saved the lives of tens of thousands of people all over the world, and he is from Waterbury, Connecticut. Here's News 8's Jocelyn Memento. The fight against the deadliest medical plague of the 20th century took a breakthrough turn when this man Hi, Dr. Gallo. and two other researchers discovered HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Sure, you're thinking of public health, but to be honest, you're also thinking of your also competitive nature comes out. Then is, you know, what's going on, you know? And, uh, you know, you can't figure this out. Dr. Robert Gallo is a director of the Institute of Human Virology at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Basically our hypothesis was that it would be a new retrovirus and what was what got me into AIDS was the leukemia research. His team of researchers had discovered the cause of a severe form of leukemia. When we discovered HTLV-1 it was the first time in history that humans were known to be infected by a retrovirus. I'm in one of the labs where Dr. Gallo and his colleagues are currently working to develop an HIV vaccine, which appears promising. Clinical trials start in June, phase one, but there's more work to be done before this is an effective, good vaccine. Discovering HIV has made Dr. Gallo a famous biomedical researcher. The doctor has an impressive wall of photos. Among them, glimpses of his childhood in Waterbury, Connecticut. One prominently displayed on his desk. This one. That one is Tim Moynihan of Waterbury, Connecticut. They were playing basketball in my backyard. Dr. Gallo was born in the Brass City to an Italian-American family. Within 20 minutes of my house, I could be swimming in six lakes, you know, and a couple of rivers, and also 30 minutes to the sea. And uh, I took advantage of all of that. With roots in the Piedmont and southern parts of Italy. For some reason, they settled in the eastern part of Waterbury, in Reedville and in the East Main Street area, the eastern side. I was a young kid in the time of World War II when Waterbury was really taken off. He has a lot of memories. My grandfather used to be puzzled by Americans cultivating a weed, which was grass. So everything was fruit trees and garden and more fruit trees and the water well he had to have and the grapevine and the wine making. In retrospect, the death of his only sibling, six-year-old Judy, to leukemia and breaking his back playing basketball before his senior year at Sacred Heart High School. That really knocked my sails. Put him on the path of an illustrious career in medicine. It turned my attention much more to study and thinking. He talks freely about his close-knit Italian heritage. I grew up thinking all people, you know, life was simple, everybody really loves you. Never forgetting family ties. Connecticut was you know, a very nice place to, to grow up. I tell everybody that. In Baltimore, Maryland, Jocelyn Mementa, News 8.